All right, hey guys, uh, I'm gearing up for another uh, hole here that I just wanted to kind of touch base on um, because we got uh, a really challenging wind here and I just wanted to kind of quickly make some pointers here. Uh, one of the things that I want to mention is when it's down um, downhill like this, um, you get... You have to play extra on your uh, ring adjustment. So that's the first thing that I want to make note of. And uh, now the Kingmaker will make things a lot easier because, and that's how I'm gonna go at this hole too. And as you see, he hit the pin there. Um, I'm gonna try for more or less the same approach is going at uh, that fairway right there and landing it right there and of course using a side spin ball where you can actually do this shot so here you're going to see me use maybe five and a half backspin the most side spin that i can get on the ball with that um, i'm going to play more like 1.5 per ring one point uh you know max thor is usually 1.7 ish but i'm going to go more than that so, you know, I'm going to make sure about 10 rings out that it looks like I'm pretty good. And you can see the angle that it's pointing up at, you know, 10 rings from there. Aside from that, I'm going to go everything that I can to the side. Every last bit. And uh, kind of what I'm shooting for on a tough win like this is just, you know, right side of the green. Because getting it back to the hole is going to be brutal. So I'm basically just trying to play it safe. Trying to make sure that I can get to the uh, shootout hole here. Um, in Tour 11, if you don't get this hole, you are probably, you know, not not getting to the shootout if you don't eagle it. So I just wanted to kind of take one of the harder wins here for you guys and just show you an easy approach to make sure, you know, worst case scenario, you know, you're a little to the right on your aim and you just have to pitch it in from the right of the fairway here. You just gotta make sure you have that at least like five and a half backspin. If it's straight downwind, I put, I use more. If it's uh, into the wind, this shot becomes a little bit more challenging. That's, the, those are the cases where you can get a get by with a, a birdie. When it's straight into the wind, um, I definitely recommend the Kingmaker. And let's take a look at this shootout hole. So this is going to be straight downwind. And uh, one of the things that I just want to touch on here is when you're playing this hole downwind, you want to use 1.3 as your uh, ring adjustment. You also want to cheat the beginning of the fairway here. So you see this guy as of now is setting up in the middle of the fairway. Um, with a 6.6, .6, it might be okay. But once that gets uh, double digits, 10, 12, somewhere in there, it's going to make things a little bit more challenging. Um, it looks like he's doing, you know, an over adjustment anyway, so the two are going to kind of balance one another out. He set up a little bit long, but he's going to land it short of his line, and you can see him landing on the beginning of that fairway, and the speed's about perfect. So, you know, they, they kind of balanced each other out. Like he basically over adjusted, but put it in the wrong spot to begin with to start his adjustment. So it just kind of balanced itself out. And as you can see where he landed, you know, that's going to be where I'm setting up to land. Uh, I'm not going to have much room for error. Um, you, you can kind of see, you know, the ball's going to spring forward since it's straight downwind. So I'm going to set up more towards the front like this. And, um, Let's see, so at five rings, that's going to be six and a half, uh, six and six, six 6.5 at 1.3. So let me go ahead and do that first. So five rings, and then I'm going to need one more to make it like 7.8 or so, 8.0, somewhere in there. And let's see if I can't hope for a perfect ball here. Got perfect ball, and let's see if I can't take this away from him. <clears throat> Looks like I got it. So keep that in mind when you're downwind. Uh, 1.3 is kind of, you know, your spot on adjustment. Keep in mind that ball's going to spring forward. And uh, aside from that, um, you know, good luck with that type of shootout. And uh, I'll be doing more wins for you guys. Um, I just want to make a note just in case, you know, I don't get the videos fast enough for you. If you guys are have like a side win, play it more 1.2. 
especially if it's downwind, you know, still, still favor that like on a side wind, like 1.2, 1.3 adjustment. Um, when you start having to go towards max club, make sure that you're changing that adjustment to more one, 1.1, 1 .1, uh, depending on how much to this point it's pointed at the side. But just keep that in mind. Like my, my typical, you know, side wind adjustment is, is like 1.2. But if I'm pulling to more towards the hole, then I'll, you know, I'll cheat it and I'll do like 1.1 1 .1 and, uh, you know, straight into the wind or whatever, or even like, uh, you know, 430, then I'm pulling more at max, you know, which is 1.0. So I'm using th those as my adjustments. So keep those in mind. Um, and uh, I'll be touching on some more of those for sure. And we're going to have to talk about those because once you start having side wind, you're going to have to start, you know, either doing some curl or some side spin to try to counter that wind, those wind effects when you bounce off that island. So look forward for my other videos and uh, good luck out there.